All right, guys, this is MCO Gamer 27. All right, guys, this is MCO Gamer 27 bringing you a preview. This is a preview of Ridge Racer 7 for the PS3. And I'm taking captured by my iPhone because the PS3, you need a special switch that, I, that is in order so I could capture it with my capture card. That's the only console that you, that you have to have a certain specific switcher that works so you could capture on the PS3. And everyone knows that. But I thank God for our iPhones that I, I think it does a pretty good job, guys. And I'm sorry for that, but I, but I do got that switcher in order. Why am I previewing this game? Well, this game was one of the games I've been looking for for a while. Digital Foundry did a whole episode on this game. This is this is a first party, of course, and first party game for like Sony. And this game utilized the cell processor the way it did The Last of Us. And guys, it's a beautiful game. This is the this is true 1080p 60 frames. So if you're watching this, make sure on YouTube because. The iPhone is catching at 60 frames per second and at 1080p, exactly what you're seeing. So if so, on YouTube, make sure you go to your settings right now. Make sure you put it at 60 frames at 1080p because that's what the iPhone it is capturing right now. Thank God for our, for our modern phones that we could still do this. But like I said... In a couple of weeks, I am going to get the switcher that I could capture from, from like, PS3. Because I, I do want to do content on the PS3. As you know, I only do original hardware. All right, guys. So, like I said, Digital Foundry did a whole thing on this game. So, I got the volume down now. But let's see what this game has. All right? Let me put the volume up just a little bit. Okay. All right, hopefully you guys can hear a little bit of that because I want, I don't want, I want you guys to hear my voice. All right, so that's the TV. Hold on, let, 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 uh, there, there it is. Ready? Let's go to start. And let's see what this game has to offer. Let's do like a six, seven minute video and why I love this game. Guys, look at this game. This game looks absolutely incredible. This game looks better than some PS4 games. Look at that. All right, so what are we going to do? We're not going to do arcade right now. Let's do... Let's, oh, so this game has... Look at this. Rich Racer State Grand Prix. That's what we're going to do now. It has Global Time Attack, Arcade Mode. It has so many different arcade modes. Look at that. So many different modes okay let's play all right so hopefully you guys could hear me I mean, all right look at that guys Okay, let's press start. Okay. Okay. All right, so where do we want to go? All right, let's go. What is this? Um. All right. Let's try this over here. Come, uh, one machine. We're gonna get that car. Start race. All right. Let's see how this game looks and runs. But I know this game's just beautiful, man. Cause, wow. Guys, this game is not expensive. It's about 20 bucks, but it's hard to find in the wild. 
All right, so now I'm gonna stay quiet and I'm gonna put up the volume. Look at the car, look at the, the quality. Three, two, one, go! There we go. Guys, the drifting feels amazing. Oh. Woo! Oh, Lord, I drift too much. Wow, this is kind of hard to... <laughs> wow. Guys, this game looks absolutely beautiful. Guys, this game looks better than some PS4 racing games. So like I said, I found this game in the wild, actually today, so I just wanted to do a preview on it. I was looking for it for, for a while, for months, and I don't like to order online, I like to hunt, look for the hunt, like a, you know, because when you like co collect games, you don't want to just go online and buy them like you want to go for the hunt and that's the thrill about game collecting that you are on the hunt and i found it today out of the blue guys and i wasn't even gonna go and i just had a feeling to go and then when i walk in the store the guy like that like knows me he goes hey jimmy i got your game that you're looking for i went what oh and look and it was very very reasonable it, it was only uh of $17.99 and online you could probably get it cheaper probably maybe 15 but by the time you press uh, you know by the time you um uh by the time you pay the shipment it, it'll be over 20 so this game is about $20 and guys it was in mint condition a complete in box I was very grateful at the guy and his name is um Hunter and uh, uh, this guy has a, a great retro store here in Tampa, Florida. Oh Lord, oh my Lord. This is, okay, let me just have some fun here, guys. All right. Wow, this drifting. Okay, once you get the hang of it, I'm really this is nitro now. Hold on, let me get on a straight one. Oh no, I did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Guys, this game feels phenomenal.
right, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to show you a brief video on this. And guys, if you see this in the wild, please get it. It's a must-have, especially if you're a racing fan. There it is, right there. And complete in box, in mint condition. In mint condition. Just got a little writing on the wall, like writing on the thing. It was pre-owned, of course, but complete in box and in mint condition. In mint condition. Like I said, this is like about a $20 game, complete in box. All right, guys, this is MCO Gamer 27. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, share, and God bless.